uh, it's around 8 o'clock I usually don't paint after sunset but I just feel very motivated right now and I feel like painting uh, I was just thinking about what I should paint and I was thinking of trying out portraiture I usually don't paint portraits kind of outside my comfort zone my comfort zone is painting nature and sceneries uh, that's definitely my comfort zone but just a face uh, is quite scary for me to be honest but this new year I have really made it a resolution to work on portraiture I want to incorporate more portraits in my art and in my art style and uh, so I just want to work on it uh, and see how it goes for me but I am going to do some trials first in my sketchbook and uh, then probably if I feel too comfortable I'll make a painting let's see so yeah I think I'll just start with something simple and see where it goes So I didn't want to approach this as a serious study so I didn't really start with any grids to sketch out the face. Okay so I'm not a great sketcher. I think I paint better than I sketch so yeah just putting it out there. Also uh, because this was just a warm up I decided to use black and white pictures as references so that um, I don't worry too much about uh, the skin tones, uh, the mixing and all that stuff at this point. And this reference here is from Pinterest. I really like the expression and the hairstyle in this reference and I felt like it was a good starting point. Here I'm just blocking the different tones and starting with the darkest and moving to the mid tones and then the lightest tone. And uh, at this point, I'm not focusing too much on the lightness of the face. I'm just trying to understand the different shapes, the depth, the shadow, how the hair falls. Um, yeah. So before painting the eyes, I was really wondering where this is going but after I painted the eyes, I started feeling more confident. I mean, I think uh, it brought life to the painting and I was trying to add broader strokes and not really go into the, the tiny details. Definitely it does not have the perfect proportions, I feel. I think um, the eyes are a little big for the face but I think it's a good start. So if you notice my voice being slightly different, it's because I was sick and I'm still recovering but I really wanted to get the voiceover done. So please don't mind if my voice sounds a little off. So the last time I painted a portrait was of my husband. Um, it was around 9 years ago I think or more than 9 years ago. I mean that time we were just dating. I painted his portrait uh, for his birthday and gifted it to him. It turned out alright but then uh, I don't know somehow I really didn't enjoy portraits back then and I never um, I guess continued painting portraits but uh, I'm finding this surprisingly very refreshing and I really feel I needed this change <laughs> and I really feel I should do this more often. <laughs> So the next day, uh, I decided to work on the side profile. Um, I don't know what it is, but after finishing the first one, I started feeling more comfortable and confident doing these and I wanted to keep going. And uh, this time my main focus was to get the proportions correctly and I wanted to stick to the monochromatic color scheme. I don't yet feel too confident to try out color. So um, we are still going to stick to monochromatic. But before starting the second one, I'm just adding some highlights here, especially around the eyes. Uh, and I like it that 
these small additions can really make a big difference. I'm really trying not to add too many details. I do tend to uh, be too much in my head and uh, do each and every detail, uh, like even one single strand of hair. And I've been wanting to really loosen up my style lately uh, and see how with just broader brush strokes, um, I can create forms and shapes. Uh, and I'm really enjoying this kind of a free flowy um, practice that I'm doing. So after I've finished the second one, I'm feeling slightly more confident and I think I want to try out a coloured portrait now. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it though but I have decided to push myself out of my comfort zone this year and I really want to give it a shot. Um, I thought of working on canvas so now I so that I have a bigger surface to play with in case I mess up. Uh, and also I prefer the texture of canvas more than paper, just as my personal opinion. Uh, I feel paper is slightly more smooth for me, I like that kind of roughness um, the canvas prints. So. Thank you. 
I started painting by starting the darker shadows and then moving to the midtones and lastly the highlights. Um, so okay, so I have to say that most of what I'm doing here are just techniques that I've observed other artists do. To be honest, I've never really followed any YouTube tutorials. I just prefer to observe different artists and then just understand what they're doing instead of following something step by step. That's just how I learn. Um, but I do have to say that if you have watched the show uh, Portrait Artist of the Year, uh, I mean, really, I feel that's one of the best shows to just observe so many artists and their unique styles. I just remember binge watching the show a few months back. And really, I wasn't even painting portraits back then. But it was just so fascinating to watch different artists and their different styles of painting and just creating these amazing uh, portraits. And I think I learned best by observing that. It definitely helped me a lot. And I really recommend you guys to watch that show. So I generally don't like following strictly with techniques. Uh, so most of the time, I just go with what I feel intuitively. I feel that is definitely more important to me than constantly worrying if the method or the technique is right. So I have to say I'm really pleasantly surprised by how this painting is turning out. I had no idea that I would actually enjoy painting portraits so much. I got really into the painting by the next day. I was so involved in the painting. I did not think about anything else but just to put all my heart into this painting. And uh, I'm really liking how it's turning out. I don't know if this is exactly my style or not though. I don't even know what my style is. I don't really have a style as of now. So I think it's a great time to just explore what I'm able to do and to see how I can have this in my style somehow. I hope I'm making sense. You get my point, right? <laughs>
so i guess it was a good idea to push myself to try out something that scares me and i have to say that i definitely want to try out more portraits in the future and working on this has definitely brought back a lot of creative excitement for me i feel uh, um, it did put me under some stress in the beginning but i think it's brought in newness and excitement to my work so yeah i want to encourage you guys to do something out of your comfort zone this week and i'm sure you're not going to regret it it could be the smallest thing but do let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on the video uh, how did you find the final painting also if you have tried something out of your comfort zone and have felt really good about it i would love to know that anyways this is uh, all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye